Ready? Um, good evening. Um, we'll call this meeting to order at 6.30. Uh, do we want to stand for the Pledge of Allegiance? I invite everybody to stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Yes. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. If I can address, um, if I can make a motion, a nomination. Well, I didn't have I need to take roll call. Oh, was it at Nominate for pro Oh, roll. Oh, yeah, that's what I was. Yeah, that's fine. Let her take roll call. Okay. Mrs. Berry is absent. Mr. Baydoun? Here. Ms. Elzayat? Here. Ms. Fawaz? Here. Myself from here. Ms. Kaminsky is absent. And Mr. Saba? Here. Okay, so we have a quorum. And um, I'm going to open up for nominations for uh, pro temp for this meeting. Uh, Madam Secretary, I'd uh, like to Ms. nominate Sabah. Trustee Saba as our pro tem. Chair. Support. Okay. Um, uh, all those in favor? Aye. 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 So we have five zero. My phone is not Kristen, my phone is not working. Um, okay, so I'm never gonna miss. Would you like to take that? the answer Thank you. okay so we've called the meeting to order thank you secretary Janoon give me one moment please I need to do approval. I guess you can still do that. You can do the approval of the consent That's, agenda. Yeah, go ahead. Well, no, you already there. So we've already nominated the consent agenda. So we need a motion for approval of the consent agenda for the previous meeting. So moved. Any support? Support. Okay. All in favor, please signify by stating aye. Aye. Any opposed? All right, motion passes. And now we will move to the election of officers for the 2022-2023 school year for the, um, the Board of Directors. Dr. Masalam, is there anything that we're gonna do differently than we did last year? Uh, from my knowledge, um, Trustee Sable, I was trying to remember the, the term. And from my knowledge, um, I would say that uh, the presiding board member over this meeting would ask for nominations and then the board move forward. I just want to make sure we're not, you know, doing anything different than last year, but I know last year was a little different. So we will, uh, we will start the, the process of election nomination. And the first office is for the nomination for president of the board. I'd like to make a nomination. Mr. Baydoun. I'd like to nominate Ms. Elzea for president of the school board. Okay. Any support? Support. We have a nomination by Mr. Baydoun for Danielle Elzea uh, for president, supported by Ms. Selva Fawaz. All those in favor, please signify by stating aye. 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 Any opposed? Can you please take an individual? Just sure. for the sake of each office, if that's fine. Okay. Um, so Mr. Mr. Baydou? Aye. Ms. Elzayat? Yes. Ms. Fawaz? Yes. Myself? Yes. Ms. Kaminsky is absent. And Mr. Sable? Yes. Uh, I'd like to make, oh, sorry, are we on vice president yet? We'd like to congratulate Danielle. Yes. First Thank and you. foremost. Thank you. Thank you. And next is the nomination for vice president of the school board. Um, Mr. Chair? Yes, Ms. Foss. Right, Mr. Chair. <laughs> um, I would like to nominate Haspe Doom for vice president. Any support? Support. So Ms. Fawaz has nominated Hassan Baydoun for vice president, supported by Ms. Danielle Zayat. 
All those in favor, please signify by stating aye. 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 Any opposed? Can we please do an individual? Mr. Baidun. Aye. Ms. Alzayat. Aye. Ms. Fawaz. Yes. Myself, yes. Mr. Sable. Yes. Okay. Congratulations, Mr. Baidu. Thank you. And next is the nomination for treasurer. And uh, Mr. Pro Tem Chair. Yes, Ms. Elzayat. I'd like to nominate uh, Salwa Fawaz for treasurer. Okay. Support. So we have a nomination for treasurer for Ms. Salwa Fawaz by Ms. Danielle Zaya, supported by Mr. Hassan Beydoun. All those in favor, please signify by stating aye. 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 Any opposed? Ms. Janu. Oops. Uh, Ms. Barry's absent. Mr. Beydoun. Yes. Ms. Al Zayad. Yes. Ms. Fawaz. Yes. Myself. Yes. Ms. Kaminsky is absent. Mr. Sabla. Yes. Congratulations, Ms. Fawaz. Thank you. Now the nomination for secretary. I'd like to nominate Ms. Najah Janou. Support. Support. Thank you. Motion by Myself, Mohamed Sabal, for nomination for secretary for Najah Janoun, supported by Danielle Zaya. All those in favor, please signify by stating aye. 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 Any opposed? Ms. Janoun. Mr. Baidoun. Yes. Ms. El Zayat. Yes. Ms. Fawaz. Yes. Myself. Yes. Ms. Kulinski is absent. Mr. Sabal. Yes. Congratulations, Ms. Janoun. And now that we have our elected officers, I'd like to turn the gavel over to our newly elected president to finish the rest of the meeting. <laughs> Congratulations. Does that work? Yeah. Actually, I believe everyone's supposed to move can seats I, now. Can Correct. I just stay here? Nope, you are here now. <laughs> yeah, now I'll really be last. Thank you. Mo, is this your book? Oh, no, that's just a sheet sheet. Oh. Okay. Just ignore me when I mumble to myself. Well, I really feel all alone over here now. <laughs> Make sure we start public comments this week. But really, you should just come sit down. I can. <laughs> Bring your uh, main plate. Because that's kind of weird. <laughs> He's just not going to sit on the island by himself. All right. Madam Secretary, can you help me out with this cheat sheet? So, so we don't want to pick our cheat sheet over this. And then I'm just going to do the one for the next. So now that we're going to do it. Okay. Okay. All right. Uh, before we move on, I just wanted to congratulate all of our new officers and um, just say to the school district, thank you, and say to my fellow board uh, members, thank you very much, and I hope that I can do you all justice, and I'm sure that all the other um, officers here that were elected today will do their seats justice as well. So congratulations to all of you. Okay, so on to the next um, item. We're going to be setting uh, the regular meeting dates and times for the next calendar year of 2022-2023. Uh, uh, Dr. Mosalam, are you going to yes, Madam go Chair. over your options? Yeah. Thank you, Madam Chair Board. So I have submitted to the board three options. I'd like to go over each option real quick for the board to consider to vote on for this upcoming school year's board meeting dates. I'd like to note uh, that by state law, we must have one board meeting a month, um, and those have to be pre-planned board meetings. So option one is the current process. Our current process is two board meetings a month with a study session before each board meeting. So that's simple. And then we uh, 
we looked at dates to see what dates fit best with the holidays, so on and so forth. There are a couple months that only have one board meeting and that's due to the holidays um, and efficiency. Option two, which is the next page. Option two looks at our board meetings in terms of having two, having a study session that is just a designated date for a study section, session and then a regular board meeting two weeks later with a study session. Uh, this option is being presented as an opportunity where if we use the first meeting of the month as a study session, we can have um, discussions, we won't be in a rush to get to a board meeting, uh, we can go over uh, different things as needed if there needs to be a closed session. And then when we get to the board meeting, which would be the second Monday of the month, um, there would be a study session or the board could decide and say, we don't need a study session, we just need a board meeting. Madam Chair? Uh, yeah. I got a question. Mm -hmm. back in the sure. So what I'm understanding is the regular meeting is standing and the study session is not call it optional, but it as needed, and then we can cancel if needed. Correct. Under option two. Under option two, yeah. you can. So what we would do is we would publicize the study session, but if as we submit Friday updates and stuff the Thursday before. If we felt there wasn't any business to discuss or any reason to have the study session, we could. But I mean, that's the case with even regular meetings. But we so have to have one regular meeting a, a month. month. Right. right. So this, but what this option does is it puts it in our calendars so we can schedule around. Okay. We'll let you finish the options, and then if we have questions, okay. we'll ask you. Thank you. The other thing about option two is, let's say we have some pressing matters that we need to vote on prior to the regular scheduled board meeting. We can always add a special meeting with that study session or in place of that study session. Because again, we have our legal one meeting a month already established. Okay. So we would just call a special meeting just like we do now, if we needed to have a second meeting that month. And then we would just have to announce it well in advance according to the rules as we do currently. Option three is moving to just one study session and one regular meeting a month, where instead of having two study sessions and instead of having two regular meetings, we would just have one each month, um, uh, where, uh, again, yeah, it would just be one each month. Again, taking into consideration the holidays. I wanted to give the board these three updates um, because through these three updates, whatever the board decides to move forward with, we can plan um, our committee meetings and all that through study sessions. We, as we discussed in previous board meetings, we can also uh, start planning any needed additional meetings forward as uh, an administrative team. Those are the three options, Madam Chair. Madam President? Yes. I, Trustee Sable. I, I know we'll discuss this further, but I just don't want the board to disregard the fact that our two meetings a month, if anything, you know I like to cut expenses. I, but also, we have fiduciary duties that we have to keep up to. And I, I, I have a big problem with one meeting a month, first and foremost myself. I have a problem with one meeting a month and study sessions to offset the other day. As much as I do think we need to cut expenses, I also think that there's a lot of matters that are very pressing, and I don't like them to wait one particular month to be handled and situated. Um, so I just want everybody to cont you know, just keep in mind that we, we have a duty to make sure that everything's on task throughout the month, regardless of how many we have. It's got to be very precise, and once a month is just difficult. Do you have a recommendation out of the options? I would recommend the second one. I'm sorry, the first one. So is that a motion? Let me just, yes, I, I motion to accept option one, where we have study sessions and regular board meetings throughout these dates. Uh, okay, so we have a motion by Trustee Saba to uh, uh, use option one for the uh, scheduled uh, calendar for 2022-2023, supported by Trustee or Secretary Janoon. Uh, open for discussion? Yeah, I have. Uh, so if I'm looking at option one and option two, the difference, I think, and correct me if I'm wrong, Dr. Masalam, is flexibility, because I counted 17 meetings in option two and 18 meetings in option one. Am I right? Um, I don't know the number, but yes, it's for the flexibility. Yes. Yeah, 18 is option one. There are two meetings per date, Hassan, so that's not counted as one meeting. 
No, I'm talking about the dates. So we would meet on Point 17 seven. different dates in option two, and we would meet on 18 different dates in option one. So just, so, just so we're clear, is you can there's always flexibility because if there's really nothing to as long as you're having your one meeting a month there's still always that flexibility to say that you choose not like we can always cancel a meeting right. with with proper notice a meeting can be canceled which and I'm, if there's pressing business we'll have the meeting already scheduled right. to get the pressing business done right and don't forget we want to discuss and add subcommittee meetings to study sessions so you need that time you could also just do that Right. Uh, yes, that's actually that's a good point, Salwa. At the last couple of meetings, we did discuss uh, bringing some committee issues or committee meetings to the study session meetings. So I think if we stick with that, we should keep this option option two. We should open. keep option one. Uh, right. Option one open. So if there isn't any, is there any further discussion? Um, can we do a roll call vote on that? Yeah, well, everybody's vote. So. Are we not voting on we, this? We have a motion and a support. So we have a motion and support. You've got to call for a vote. Yep. So all those in favor? Aye. 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 Any against? Okay. Motion passes. Okay. So we will go with option one. Kristen, got that? Thank you. Okay. So approval of uh, depositories for school funds with JP I, Morgan Chase. Yeah, I'll handle that. Penny's on vacation. Okay. So I'll handle that for Penny. So um, we have two action items. One, designation of depositories for school funds, and two, designation of depositories for school uh, funds for MyLift, one for J.P. Morgan Chase. Uh, so the first action item is designation of depositories for school funds with J.P. Morgan Chase Bank, N.A. And just so the board knows that it's, uh, this is currently who we use. So we're not requesting a change. Madam Chair? Uh, yes, Trustee Fawaz. I recommend that J.P. Morgan Chase Bank be approved as the depository of school district funds for the 2022-2023 school year. Support. Thank you. We have a motion on the floor. Uh, recommended action by uh, Trustee Fawaz to approve J.P. Morgan Chase uh, be approved as the depository of school district funds for 2022-2023 school year. Supported by Trustee Vadun. All those in favor? Or any discussion? I ask that we take an individual vote, please. That would sure. be only. Um, Madam Secretary, okay. can you do a roll call? So, uh, all in favor? Did anybody think of Just do a roll call. He, he wanted, uh, you he still do the all in favor first. Well, all in favor. Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Roll call. Uh, Mr. Badoon? Yes. Ms. Alzayat? Yes. Ms. Fawaz? Yes. Myself, yes, Mr. Sabo. I must abstain due to conflict of interest. Okay. Thank you. Motion passes. The second item, and again, this is a continuation with the current services we use, designation of depositories for school funds with Michigan Liquid Asset Funds. Madam Chair. Trustee Bidu. I recommend that my left be approved at the depository of the school district funds for the 22-23 school year. Support. Okay, motion to approve uh, my left be approved as depository school district funds for 2022-2023 school year by Trustee Baidun, supported by Trustee Fawaz. All those in favor? Uh, any discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. Thank you, Madam President. Are we going to do public comments? Um, are we so doing public agenda. comment? So, so at this time, we'll open up the floor for public comment. Do we have anybody who filled out a form for public comment? No public comment at this time. We do have one. Okay. <laughs> good evening congratulations to everybody and i wish you a good luck for the next few years thank you thank you thank you thank, thank, you. You. thank you mr Abdelhan. thank you mr. we appreciate it we appreciate your support okay at this time we'll open the floor for a adjournment um board comments uh board comments 
Sure. I, get, I still get to go first. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's fair. I love it. By the way, I'll still be over there, too, based on seniority. So. Okay, Trustee Seva, lead um, us off. I, I will reiterate Mr. Abdelhaz's comments. Congratulations to all of you. Um, I'm, I'm sorry that not all the board members were here today, but at the end of the day, um, it's always about the kids, and I know that every one of us on this board feels that way. Um, we have different ideas of how things will get done, but it's healthy to disagree respectfully, and I think at the end of the day, there's a strong support from this board for this administration, for these children, and I, I really feel strongly that we are going in the right direction. And I just want to thank all of you for stepping up and, and taking on leadership roles because they're very important. Ms. Janoon, I know you've done this before and you're doing it again and we thank you. Ms. Alzea, congratulations, well deserved. Mr. Beydoun and Ms. Fawaz, very happy for all of you. And uh, I just want to congratulate you and wish everybody a very happy summer. Please stay safe. I know this is, when's the next one? At the end of the month, right? We have one more. July this 25th. Yeah. And uh, belated happy 4th of July to everyone. Thank you. Thank you. <coughs> Secretary Jadoon. You're second this time. Yeah, Look at that. I know, right? It, it was a short meeting, though, so it's not. <laughs> so I, I, and like, I'll, I guess I'll reiterate what you said. I mean, I know everybody's here for the right reasons. I don't think anybody does this for themselves, um, including Mrs. Berry and Mrs. Kaminsky. Um, yeah, so I, I, unfortunate that they weren't here, and I know that they wanted to be here, and schedules were conflicting, um, but we, we will see each other on the 25th, I guess. So thank you, everyone. Okay, thank you. Um, Mr. Bidu? My turn? Yes. Um, so I still go last because... <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. <it's> true. <laughs> so uh, I just want to open it up by saying um, fall sports are beginning at Crestwood. So I'd like everyone to, you know, keep that in mind. I know there's going to be a lot of... Uh, um, movement at the high school here in the next few weeks please be coherent of all the kids that will be attending um, you have quite a few sports and even our winter sports are already starting to do workouts and some lessons learned there so just want the community to be aware of that um, I did pass by Kinlock uh, yesterday I did see the fences going up so um, we're starting to see construction movement here in the district per uh, the prior um, uh, construction plan. So I want to thank everyone that had something to do with that. And then also, you know, just have a safe summer, but also have fun. That's the most important thing. Summer break's about having fun. Okay, and going forth doesn't mean <laughs> have much more to say so uh just to add on to them just have a great summer see you guys i'm sure at our next meeting happy birthday selena <laughs> um happy that's birthday, about it happy birthday thank you happy birthday to sue too birthday, sue. well that's your birthday, birthday today sue. oh happy birthday uh, is that it yep thank you okay so um of course i will ditto everybody's sentiments here congratulations to all like I said before, I hope we can do you all proud, and I'm sure that we will. Um, I also did want to extend for those observing a um, Eid Mubarak for Eid al-Adha, which is coming up this uh, this Saturday and Sunday, depending on who you follow. <laughs> if you know, you know. <laughs> um, yes, but I did want to extend um, Eid Mubarak to, to our community and to all those observing. And with that, I think we'll take a motion to adjourn. Madam Chair. Yes. Make a motion to adjourn the meeting. Have Support. a motion. Supported support. by Trustee Seba. All those in favor, or any discussion? Anybody have a discussion? No. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay. Meeting adjourned. Thank you all for attending. Thank you.